Today I will be doing a Q&A video. I made a post on my Facebook page and uh, asking for uh, questions for me uh, to do for this video and here are a few that um, people commented. The first one is from Tom who I ran the Springfield Marathon with at least the uh, first 14 miles with and he asked when are we running again? Um, really whenever we can find a race. I have no race between January and March plans so if you could find one uh, in that time that works for both of us I'd be down to run. I'm always down for a race. Uh, so the next one is from my friend Tanner. Uh, that's why I added it in here even though it's ridiculous. He asked, do you snort cocaine to run faster? No, I do not. I'm not even sure that would make you run faster, uh, but I'm not going to test it out. Uh, so this next one uh, is, would you rather be able to run like uh, Bacale or shred like Herman Lee? I love Herman Lee. He's my favorite guitarist. He's in my favorite band. Uh, but Bacale is the second best marathon runner ever. So I definitely want to be able to run like him because, uh, you know, he's a part of history. He came two seconds away from beating Elliot Kipchoge's uh, official uh, world record. So that would be amazing. Uh, so the next one's also from my friend Tanner. He did this because he wants me to say him. And it's, who was your favorite uh, co-worker to work with? Obviously, it's you, Tanner. Uh, I'm probably going to hurt the feelings of some of my other co-workers. But, you know, we became best friends. Every time you come down here to visit, you stay at my place. So I think that one's kind of obvious. Um, this uh, next one is, what is your favorite race? Uh, so this one's a little bit difficult uh, just because I've ran so many different races. I'm uh, kind of breaking it down uh, based on the distance. Uh, so for the 5K, my favorite race is definitely uh, the Camp New Hope 5K. I've ran it three of the uh, five years they've had it, and it was the first one I did, and I ran, I won it the three years that I've d I did it. I didn't know they were doing it this year, or I would have ran it. Because, um, yeah, it's a really good race, really good course, uh, great... Uh, turnout and a uh, great people there. For the 10k, um, I can't remember the name of the race, but it was in uh, Decatur, Illinois, and it took place on uh, the Decatur Airport runway. So it was super fast and flat, and it was a really good race. It happened at night too, uh, so that was really cool. And it's uh, right before uh, Halloween, like a week before Halloween. So it's a really good race. Uh, half marathon, so I haven't really ran a lot of half marathons, um, and really they're kind of, I've kind of had bad experiences in each one, so the first one I ran, it was a great course, and it was on the bike trail that I train on in the summer, but the weather was terrible, it was about 30 degrees, it was raining, there was like 20 mile per hour wind, um, and the next one I did was a trail run, and I ended up twisting my ankle around mile 10, so I didn't do nearly as well as I was hoping to. I had to walk a lot of the last of it. Uh, and then the, sec uh, the last one I did was over a year and a half ago, and uh, I just had a really bad experience with it. It was super hot, lots of hills, so I don't really have a favorite one. I'd probably say the trail run, just because it's the one I've done the best in, but yeah. And de for, definitely for the marathon, it's the Springfield Marathon. I've only ran two different marathons, and I ran them both twice. Uh, but the Springfield Marathon, uh, you know, I've had great experiences with both of them. I've PR'd both years in it, and I've met great people uh, at that race. So definitely that one. Um, so the next question is, do you always feed, uh, do they always feed you after a race, and what usually is it? Uh, so they, every race has at least some food or drink after. Uh, some of them are just, you know, water, Gatorade, and, you know, maybe a banana, some uh, granola bars. Uh, I have been to a few where they've had, like, spaghetti or, like, pasta after. Uh, that's kind of the more uh, higher-end ones that uh, I've had at races, and that's pretty cool. Some of them have, like, sub sandwiches. Like, they get a uh, cater from either Subway, they get the mini ones, or Jimmy John's. Uh, so that's pretty good. Uh, so this next one um, is from my friend's mom, and 
It was kind of long. I hope I answer all of it, but it was pretty much just about nutrition. Um, so my nutrition is not that great. Uh, I don't really have a strict diet. I mostly just try to keep it under, like, if I don't run a lot or I don't run at all in a day, I keep it under 2,000 calories. Um, if I run more, like let's say I burn four or 500 calories, I try to keep it under, you know, 2,400, 2,500. Uh, on my really long runs, I burn over a thousand calories, so at that point, it's just trying to, you know, eat as much as I can, so I don't, you know, pass out, um, and, you know, I eat enough to get enough calories. It's more just about calories. I don't really have a whole lot of time to really cook meals, just because I go straight from training to class to work. Uh, on my off days, I have a little bit more time. Sometimes I'll cook, like, pasta or something. At work, I usually eat just uh, ham and cheese sandwiches that I make, uh, just because, you know, I can get it all there, uh, since I do work at Walmart. And the last question is, what do you like most about working with us? Uh, so, um, I really like the people that I work with at Walmart. There's a lot of great people there, I've made a lot of good friends. Yeah, the video cut out far there. So, yeah, it was really just the environment of the place and um, you know I've you know game with a lot of them uh, my roommate I work uh, worked with him before he was my roommate um, and yeah I really just likes being there spending time with uh, my co-workers uh, the work not as much but I think that's just that most jobs every job has their days we're just like I don't want to be here but uh, my co-workers definitely make it bearable so um, that's all the questions that uh, were on the post so that's all I have uh, my next uh, video will be on whether or not I get into the Berlin Marathon they will start um, sending out the emails six days from now I hope I find out soon uh, like soon after they start sending out emails just so I if I don't get in I can put in for Chicago uh, because the registration for that ends on the 2nd of December uh, but hopefully I get in and I'll definitely do a video on that uh, thanks for watching.